Welcome everyone to your channel AI Fun Fact World. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Pedro Magan, I have a PhD in computer science and in this channel we talk about AI and machine learning and how we can use it in our everyday life to maximize our efficiency. In this video, I'm going to talk about MovieGen, the new AI tool introduced by Meta in their recent Connect conference and it's going to change the whole industry in terms of generating new videos. Uh, so this was very crazy news because everybody was thinking that uh, Meta is uh, focused on the language models like Llama uh, but they are not going to introduce a lot of uh, results on others um, like for example in videos and image generation but they actually surprise uh, by their performance of the model. MovieGen is capable of generating video up to 16 seconds long and audio clip up to 45 seconds and it is going to challenge lots of the uh, startups in this case uh, like for example OpenAI, uh, Eleven Labs Runway and also uh, the Kling uh, by generating this content uh, with a high quality. So uh, the spokesman of Meta mentioned that uh, it is unlikely that they are going to make it open source for the developer as they have done for the uh, language model like Llama 3.2 uh, but they mentioned that they are currently working internally uh, to actually use it inside their app and working closely uh, with uh, some of their content creator uh, to use it and little by little uh, incorporate it in lots of their app uh, so people can actually use it on demand but inside the app so uh, it is not going to be uh, open source so people won't have access uh, to uh, the parameters but they are probably gonna uh, release it by next year uh, inside their major apps. Now first let's take a quick look at the Meta's post about the MovieGen. So they actually mentioned that uh, it's a new enable era. Uh, they talked about the fact that they are working on this fundamental AI uh, in three waves. On the first wave they actually work on uh, generative AI from something called make a scene and they create uh, images on audios and videos and 3D animation. Then with the advent of um, diffusion models, they have their second wave, uh, which was the uh, Llama image, the foundational model, um, and uh, they actually uh, increased the quality of the uh, image and video generation by a lot. And they could also do the image editing. Uh, but on their third wave, they have the movie gen, which actually try to go beyond that by fine graining control for basically the people who want to use these models um, that before. With MovieGen, there are basically two main models, one of them for video and another for audio, and then there are two other um, further trained for the specific downstream task, uh, such as editing and personalizing. So we will go over that together. First one about the video generation. Uh, so they have a, a joint model that is optimized for both text to image and text to video. So both of them at the same time, it has high quality and high definition the images. Um, they mentioned about 30 billion a number of uh, parameters. And as we mentioned, it can generate up to 16 uh, seconds with a rate of 16 uh, frames per second uh, and which includes camera motion, um, um, object interaction and so on. Um, so here is um, a few of uh, their example. And after that, they actually have uh, another uh, fine train uh, of these uh, models which are called personalized video. So the personalized video is actually interesting because you can actually have one image and then based on that it will uh, generate a, a short clip for you. So they have this uh, foundational model uh, as we saw uh, earlier and it's gonna do personalized video generation which basically gets an image and it uh, will ask uh, for a prompt and it will generate a uh, video for you which basically uses a lot of uh, reference to the person and uh, rich uh, visual details uh, for that uh, and here we see uh, some results we will go over them um, after this as well and finally they have uh, precise video editing which i believe is the most incredible one uh, because this video editing was actually very hard before and doesn't necessarily provide good performance but the variants of um, for this uh, model uh, video generation they have uh, used for this foundation on model basically uh, some text prompt that you give some video and they actually can do some editing for you so it combines the video generation and advanced image editing and um, uh, basically localize edits, uh, removing, replacing elements, and um, so many different uh, components and modification. Uh, and the results are actually uh, surprisingly very good, and they actually compare it with other approaches, and you will see that um, how it's different. It can include like changing the background or editing uh, some parts uh, of the video. Uh, and finally, they have another foundational model uh, for audio generation. So this one is uh, going ahead to it with the 11 labs, and um, this is actually very incredible. It can generate up to 45 seconds of audio that match 
matches not only just the video but different actions or sequence of action inside that video so it is a 30 billion parameter uh, that can take a video and generate high quality high fidelity audio up to uh, 45 seconds uh, and it can generate uh, instrumental background uh, and introduce audio extension um, for arbitrary uh, basically uh, videos uh, and these are going to be actually aligned uh, with the uh, content so we will take a look at um, the video together uh, as well uh, and finally they actually uh, compare the results with uh, some of the uh, other uh, state of the art model for example uh, runway um, uh, Pika Lab uh, and Kling OpenAI Sora and other things and uh, they actually uh, basically compare uh, what are the win rates um, compared to the existing model so this actually shows um, how much progress uh, they, they achieved so far now let's take a look at some uh, video generation part uh, from the first uh, foundational model uh, so for this one you see that uh, a man shirtless man is actually uh, trying to uh, basically work with the fire I want you to look at this detail so that's basically where these models are actually felt so you see that as as this one is uh, is spinning you see basically the lighting around the ground is um, compatible with where the actual fire is uh, close to the ground so that is actually uh, something uh, interesting and then also look at the lighting uh, around the uh, person's body which is also compatible and then so the things that you need to focus a lot in these cases are basically the physics uh, which basically means that uh, does this move when actually align uh, with what would uh, technically happen uh, you can take a look at um, this video uh, right now that some um uh, there is a uh, basically the sloth inside uh, this tube uh, and then as it's moving the sun uh, is going over the shade and it is very much compatible uh, with how it uh, basically would look like you see the reflection of the water you see the um, vegetables and everything uh, around that actually make uh, a lot of sense i also want you to look at this one a monkey uh, inside uh, basically this natural hot spring uh, look at the fingers so the, the small details these are the things that um, sometimes does not provide good performance in lots of uh, generative AI models uh, but you see that not only the, the fingers looks good they also look um, make sense when they actually are below the water uh, another video uh, is basically another very hard to generate is when you have a, a kid that is uh, running uh, with a kayak on his hand um, so the most important part is the legs they, they should be kind of compatible uh, with the movement and they actually looks very good uh, there are not uh, any sort of inconsistency and then look at the shadows as well uh, which basically uh, work um, makes sense with the fact that uh, the the kid movement uh, and also the kayak movement or the dynamic of the kayak um, is basically making sense that okay so uh, this is how uh, a kayak would uh, possibly work moving on to the next part let's take a look at some of the video editing tools um, in here we see the uh, original video and uh, we have um, uh, different uh, text inputs so we want to have a fire sparkles in his hand we want to change the background to an all outdoor or we want to change the sky to northern lights so uh, the special part wants you to look at the fire uh, and as as the fire come closer you see the reflection of the light inside the uh, person's face so this is actually uh, very incredible um, and also here is another video so we have um, the original video and then we have uh, basically the text input that we want to have a, a blue poem uh, on its hand so uh, the fact that the poem uh, is basically moving with the uh, juggling of of the person and how it is actually compatible with it um, it is very incredible uh, and also um, the the movements of the feet uh, also makes sense uh, here we also see another video that to change the background uh, to change it to for example to a carnival background pouring rain background uh, or basically uh, in place like by by changing 3d uh, glasses so all of these are actually uh, very to the point uh, and um, make a lot of sense so it's not inconsistency uh, inside the uh, video the next part is a personalized video generation so this one is going to be used a lot uh, because it has the uh, personalized use case and we can actually see a lot of benefit of it uh, using inside the platform like instagram uh, facebook and so on uh, which you can basically create something from your own uh, images uh, so this is uh, going to be very interesting so here we have uh, an image and then uh, ask a prompt for example in the laboratory 
history and, and you see that it the, the mimic of the face and everything looks perfectly like uh, the reference image this is actually very incredible or here is another one um, a woman uh, sitting on uh, a horse uh, and the lighting the changes of the face and everything uh, looks really good now the last one which is the most exciting one and kind of blew my mind is the uh, audio generation so uh, we see that it can generate up to 45 seconds uh, given the input images and it is also important to take a look at the fact that um, it will be synchronized with different actions of that uh, uh, specific video so it is not just having a background that makes sense uh, it's basically something that for each of the sequence or or the events that is happening inside the video uh, the sound will basically match on that let's uh, take a look at uh, the videos together So I know this is actually very incredible. How it works is that it takes the input, process the video sequences and try to come up with its database, try to look at what kind of uh, audios will actually match the uh, different sequences. And it's actually a very incredible result. So um, it is uh, gonna be changing a lot of uh, video editings and lots of like uh, background video generation uh, and so on. All right, there you have it guys. We went over movie gen by Meta and uh, talk about the different capabilities and uh, different personalized uh, and uh, editing uh, capability that this model uh, can bring let me know in the comments uh, what do you think uh, each of this model are capable of what are the benefits and is there any risk or consideration that we might uh, consider and, and should we worry about uh, thanks for watching until the end of the video if you enjoyed make sure to like the video and more importantly subscribe to the channel so you get information about the new videos if you enjoyed this type of video make sure to watch this video that i created before that i went over meta uh, connect conference and talk about the different advancements that they actually uh, Mark uh, uh, talked about and you can also watch this video that I talk about the other uh, video generation tools uh, and uh, I talk about some of the free tools that we can use right now uh, before this incredible um, AI video generation are available for everyone to use. Uh, thanks for watching and see you until the next one.